In one of my recent bee swarm videos, I decided to kill the stump snail with 50 gifted honeybees. And my next initial plan was to kill the stump snail with 50 basic bees or tadpole bees. But I was scrolling through YouTube the other day and saw two uploads by Yarix, which was also him killing the stump snail with 50 basic and tadpole bees. So my goal today is to beat Yarix and get under 13 minutes killing the stump snail. But first to get this hive, I have to reset my hive now and I missed. All right, let's try this one more. All right, third time's a charm on it. Please ban me. Thank you very much. All right, so let's go ahead and claim the hive. And let's also get these buffs. Let's go ahead and get these bee quips. All bee eggs and claim a million badges. All right, while all these badges are getting claimed and making the most annoying sounds ever, let's just go ahead by using star eggs to get 25 bees. All right, let's buy the spark stuff because that's the best wand in the game. Let's buy all of these hive slots. There we go. Let's buy the glider everything else and just like that in two minutes i'm pretty much pro get on my level all right i finally have my 50 tadpole bees let's quickly just make them level 20 and gifted click of a button i'm the best player in the world we gotta get a few more things so the first things we gotta focus on is amulets as i said before i really analyze yax's video this is all of his amulets and i'm gonna try and get better than this so his supreme cog amulet had plus two b attack which i'm pretty sure is the best you can actually get from a supreme cog amulet but you can also get percentage b attack which i'm not sure if he had so here i have plus two b attack which is pretty good but i'm gonna see if i can get slightly better okay here i also got plus two b attack but it's also gave me plus 10% ability token lifespan, which means the frog tokens will last a bit longer and frog tokens are important to do extra damage to the stump snail. So this is almost the best we can get for the Supreme Cog Amulet. All right, next up we have Supreme Star Amulet, which we want Star Saw and obviously some extra attack with it. Okay, this is a great amulet. It has plus 7% B ability rate, but also plus 7% critical chance, which beats Yarix's by plus 1%. Next, I have my Moon Amulet, which really does not matter at all. This one might actually take me a while. I'm aiming to get B attack with critical chance and also critical power. All right, I think this is the exact same one Yarek's got, but it's plus 48% critical power, plus 3% critical chance, and plus 1 B attack, which is pretty much the best I think I can get. I've been trying this for about 5 minutes. The only thing I think I can get better is the critical power, but this should do as is. Next up, we have the Diamond Stick Amulet. Which, plus 1 B attack is already pretty good, but I also want that with plus 2 B attack. Alright, nice. I already got that. Alright, onto the Supreme Shell Amulet. This one doesn't really matter. I guess I'll just take the extra defense it gives me. Alright, I'm just going to take plus 1 Blue B attack. Blue B attack and attack is basically the same thing because I have 50 Tadpole Bs. Alright, amulets are finished. Now all I got to do is get equipment. Alright, I've got the Demon Mask. Now I've got to get the Ace Gear, such as the Cobalt Guard and the Crimson Guard. Next, we'll get the Spirit Belt. Oh, wait. I was getting it all mixed up. It's called the Pedal Belt. Alright, and then we go and get the best boots in the game, which is the Gummy Boots, of course. Now it's time to teleport. No one saw me. And time to do the Obby to get the Demon Mask again. I also have to get the Dark Scythe. I'm not sure if that actually makes a difference. Alright, and with a click of the button, I got it because I'm rich like that. This is the Bee Swarm Simulator test realm, so I'm not hacking, guys. All right, before we get the coconut backpack, I've actually missed a key component. And this is how I think I'm going to be able to beat Yarix. So mutating is a very important thing, as you can get over plus 10% attack on each bee, which when I was watching Yarix's time lapse of giving mutations, at some points, he only gave each bee plus 1% attack, which obviously isn't the best you can get. As you can see there, I just got plus 11% attack, and I'm going to try to get that with every single bee. This will probably take me over an hour but you know i'm dedicated into winning so much so i guess enjoy this very very long time lapse all right one thing yarek's got to do is to level up some of his bees to level 21 which I've now just ran out of honey and didn't even get half of my bees to level 21. But it's something rather than nothing. Alright, so now with a hive like that, I've pretty much got everything so I can go kill the coconut crab. But first we want to put stingers in my inventory. I want to put a nectar tester on, a marshmallow bee because why not, and a super smoothie. Pack suffering. And there we go, coconut crab is dead in exactly 30 seconds. Alright, now it's time to test how fast I can kill the crab. Yarek's killed it in 30 seconds. Alright guys, I think this is going to be promising. I just killed the crab in 17 seconds. Yarex, I hate to say it, but you're going down. I made a huge mistake. 
I spent all my honey and now I can't buy the coconut canister. Ugh. Oh wait, I think I have two trillion honey in my backpack for some reason. Okay, well, just like that. That's an easy three trillion honey made. All right, so I've got the coconut canister. I don't think there's anything else I can improve on. I've also got my test run mega boost, which gives me 10 times B attack. All right, I've got my speed run timer and I'm pretty much ready to go. As soon as I do one bit of damage to the crab, that's when I'm gonna start the timer which is now. All right, the time has started. I've made sure I have my star saw on. I'm actually going to spawn box of frogs, which will also give me a little bit of extra frogs, which could help me with a slight bit of damage. All right, and within about 40 seconds, I've already done 1 million damage. I'm going to pop my festive sprout now, which will give me bees miss cheer and also give my bees two times move speed. All right, if I beat Yarix, you have to subscribe. Oh, one thing I did forget is to put auto coconuts on which probably won't affect the time that much because the chances of hitting the snail is pretty slim. But I mean, five million health done and two and a half minutes in, I'm on track to beating him. All right, I've done 10 million damage and the time is four minutes and 50 seconds. Okay, okay. I need to stop being cocky. When Yarix was at 10 million damage, he was at four minutes and 30 seconds. What is going on? I honestly think I missed something important. Maybe it's because of lag. Yeah, let's blame, let's, let's blame lag. Okay, so yeah, at this rate, uh, Yarix was having a better time with me. But uh, let's just blame lag because I had hide other bees off and hide glitch visuals off while also having pollen text on. Guys, I hate to say it, but I think the best bee game YouTuber is going to beat me. I also didn't use jelly beans. Actually, what is my attack power? Let's have a look. My attack total is about 11,000 which is more than Yarix's, but somehow I'm losing. All right, so when Yarix had 20 million damage done, he was at nine minutes and five seconds. I haven't even got that yet, and I'm at nine minutes and 10 seconds. My attack total is almost 1,000 more than what his was, which makes me really believe that lag was the problem here. All right, 12 minutes. I've got a minute and six seconds to do about four million damage. All right, I have 16 seconds left. I've lost. I guess he really is the best B game YouTuber. I had a million health left from when he killed the stumps now. <sighs> well, I may as well stop the timer. It was about 20 seconds over his time and I got a gifted silver egg. I'm blaming lag. Well, this is devastating. Thanks for watching everyone. See ya. Never back down, never what? Huh? Never give up. Never back down, never what? Never give up! Alright, so after just losing, uh, I'm a bit sad, but we never back down and we never give up. So I need to make some adjustments to my hive. And this is just relating to the mutations, because if I want to beat Yarix by like a minute or something, I need to get the best mutations. And we can all agree I lost just before because of lag. And I forgot that Roblox is like one of the most laggiest games. So, so yeah, I'm going to try and get rid of all these plus one attack bees and get at least plus 12% attack or plus 13%. All right, now each of my bees have over plus 10% attack, and I'm pretty much ready to beat Yarix's time. And what's also good is there's no one else in this server currently, so that means there won't be as much lag. My attack total when I activate Star Saw is 13,800, which is almost 2,000 extra than what Yarix had. All right, well, attempt two, and timer has started. I'm going to use the Festive Beam when Stump Snail gets down to about 20 million health, as before I used it pretty much straight away. My attack total was 13,000 before, and I don't know why it's not now. All right, so I've done 5 million damage in just about two minutes. I'm making sure I'm hitting every star saw hit on the stumps now, because I'm pretty sure before I was actually missing quite a few. All right, I just popped the festive sprout to get two times B movement speed, which is going to help a lot with attack. The good thing about having frogs is they pretty much collect all the tokens for me, so I don't really have to worry about doing much. All right, 20 million health and 3 minutes and 35 seconds. That's actually really good. I think I'm going to beat Yarix by a lot. I mean, but I haven't won yet, so I shouldn't really be celebrating too early. I think a lot of my bees have just gone to my hive to get energy. I probably should have reset before so they could get max energy, but I think they're back now. All right, I'm at 10 million health left and 7 minutes. Okay, well, I think I can finally make the conclusion that I'm definitely going to win. I guess you could say I'm going to make a world record with Tadpole Bees versus the Stumps now. That's crazy. I'm going to be a Bee Swarm world record holder. Uh, it's getting close now. 5 million health left. Uh, I've got about 3 million health left and 40 seconds. It'd be cool if I can get under 10 minutes, but I don't think that'll happen. All right, 1 million, 900,000. All right, I'm going to get ready to stop the timer as soon as he dies. 
and now. Oh, 10 minutes and 30 seconds. And Yarrick's got 13 minutes and 6 seconds. I beat Yarrick's at something. I'm crazy. Of course, I got like the worst rewards possible because that's the second time I've killed the stumps now. What did I get? I got 10 gingerbread bears, 10 glues, 5 oils, 5 enzymes, 1 glitter, 100 treats, 150 gumdrops, 10 pineapples, 5 magic beans, and a few other things. Well... I guess you can say I won, and that's why you never give up with anything. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it helps me out a lot. And what do you want to see in the upcoming videos? Do you want to see more of me destroying the Yarricks in certain things, or do you want something different? Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I just realized I forgot to mutate the top three Bs. I could have got an even better time.